Cardano is a millionaire maker coin, and there is no doubt about it. 2025 has been projected to be a great year for the crypto market given that it is preceding a year when the biggest event in crypto will happen, the Bitcoin halving. A little snooze and you lose. Cardano has a story that touches the heart, and in moments like this, it is important to reminisce on it. You don't know the essence of a thing if the story is veiled. So why should you even care about Cardano ADA? Charles Hoskinson founded Cardano, and he is the co-founder of Ethereum. Hoskinson had a falling out with the Ethereum team due to a dispute with the co-founder Vitalik Buterin in 2014 concerning whether or not the Ethereum project should be commercial or not. He wanted something different, but it was not considered. So Cardano was built on the premise of a system that Hoskinson perceived to be for the greater good. He launched Cardano as a more scalable, interoperable, and sustainable blockchain, intending to improve upon Bitcoin and Ethereum. Referred to by supporters as an Ethereum killer, Cardano's ongoing development is supported by the Cardano Foundation and the IOHK Research Institute, which engages in resources and development and peer review via a formal development model. Henry Gebbing, co-CEO and co-founder of Finoa, a digital asset custodian, said, Right from the beginning, one of the major criticisms of Bitcoin and other popular cryptocurrencies is that their blockchain networks, based on proof-of-work consensus mechanisms, waste huge amounts of energy. But Cardano came along using a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism to offer a more sustainable and scalable blockchain. Based on proof-of-work consensus mechanisms, Bitcoin and Ethereum 1.0 miners run computers to solve complex mathematical equations and add new blocks of data to the blockchain, receiving crypto in exchange for their work. This is time-consuming and uses up large amounts of electricity. However, Ethereum has transitioned to a proof-of-stake system now. The Cardano community believes that it could become one of the leading cryptocurrencies due to its innovative and environmentally friendly system. Cardano is reinforced by a lot of research and resources, but it remains a high-risk investment. If you're considering ADA, treat it like any other cryptocurrency. At this point, only invest what you're comfortable losing and don't expect huge gains overnight, an expert said. Plus, if you like the ideas behind Cardano, then you should start with small investments. Every year, there seems to be an appearance of a new blockchain rival that investors think might eventually take Ethereum's place as the top layer 1 blockchain. In the past years, these blockchain rivals have included the likes of Solana and Avalanche, but due to a strong track record of innovation, Ethereum has retained its market-leading position. Now, all eyes are on Cardano, and it is frequently touted as an Ethereum killer, but it's a dead heat. Why? Ethereum has the first mover advantage in just about every sector of the blockchain world, and invented the concept of smart contracts, so it's perhaps no surprise that it is still the clear leader in everything from non-fungible tokens to decentralized finance. We can see evidence when taking a look at the top-selling NFT collections. Almost all of them are Ethereum-based, and it remains the top blockchain by overall NFT sales volume. Well, Cardano has suddenly boosted its profile in the DeFi world, where for years it was a non-player. DeFi is a new priority for Cardano, and thus far the blockchain has delivered. It has a new stablecoin, new decentralized exchanges, and new DeFi protocols. All these innovations can make it possible for Cardano to create a robust DeFi ecosystem. At the end of the day, the blockchain sector is just like any part of the tech industry where innovation is key. Investors are willing to pay a premium for tokens on blockchains that appear to be innovating faster. So let's just stop the notion that investors are not moved by technological upgrades. Ethereum is still riding high after pulling off the merge last year, thus making the innovation bar high. Investors are looking for breakthrough innovations, not just incremental improvements. This makes Cardano a great option as well. In this race, there are no winners or losers. Investors are bullish on both. In anticipation of the next big stage in Cardano, which is Volatile, pseudonymous Cardano enthusiast and leader of the Able Staking Pool, identified at Hornan7, shared his graphic explanation on how referendums will be organized in Volatile. This stage is seen as an era of endgame decentralization for the second largest proof-of-stake network. Input Output Global, or IOG for short, the parent company behind the progress of Cardano ADA blockchain, shared the scheme of the protocol governance that will be implemented with the transition towards the Volatile era. Cardano Improvement Proposal 1694, or CIP 1694 for short, is designed to make blockchain governments more inclusive than ever before, and other updates have been acknowledged. This outlines an innovative on-chain governance mechanism for minimum viable governments in the age of Volatile. The scheme that is dubbed Minimum Viable Governance demonstrates three categories of voters. Delegate representatives will have voting power proportionately to the number of ADA that is staked in favor of them, plus constitutional committee members will have all the equal voting power. Meanwhile, staking pool operators will have voting power proportional to the role of this or that SPO in the Cardano ADA staking mechanism. 
This inaugural version of the new CIP can be submitted by any ADA holder regardless of the size of the portfolios, previous experience, and other factors. Then each group needs to have its votes evaluated by specific threshold rules. Cardano's Volunteer is the ultimate phase of its decentralization. As noted, the maximum voting power will be distributed between ADA holders. Some analysts expect this phase to come as soon as next year. The goal of this era is nothing short of the full decentralization of the Cardano network into a more democratic way to vote on future updates to the blockchain. It implies that maintenance and improvements to the blockchain will happen in a decentralized and orderly manner. Most importantly, full decentralization means that Cardano will no longer be under the management of input-output. Also, it likely means that Charles Hoskinson will no longer be the focal point for any changes to the blockchain. The Age of Volunteer has been teased since the blockchain's big developer event in Scotland last November, and the new events around Volunteer continue to take place this year. For example, a special Volunteer workshop dedicated to community-driven governance took place from February 28th to March 1st. Charles Hoskinson's emphasis has always been on decentralization. Almost every win and upgrade is a reflection of decentralization and organic growth. The veteran blockchain developer recently noted that the Cardano blockchain emphasizes organic methodical real adoption. He noted that this adoption is driven by a decentralized community and Cardano is growing every day and getting more advanced. Amid the accolades, what Hoskinson failed to point out is the consistency with which the developers working on Cardano are rolling out new projects and upgrades for the benefit of everyone on the blockchain. In the second quarter, the Hydrahead protocol, with a focus on scaling Cardano, was launched on the mainnet. Charles Hoskinson also took to Twitter to announce the newest milestone for Lace, a Web3 wallet platform from Input Alpha Global. He shared the announcement that the Lace wallet now supports Brave, a private web browser for PC, Mac, and mobile. The official Lace Twitter account makes it known that Lace 1.1.1 now supports Brave. Users only need to install Brave as an extension and start exploring. Brave support for Lace, he tweeted. Cardano indeed has the potential to be a millionaire maker, considering the significant growth that the cryptocurrency is predicted to experience over the next couple of years. Cardano is predicted to experience significant growth in 2025 and beyond due to its technical advantages over other cryptocurrencies. Cardano's decentralized nature and its layered architecture make it an enticing investment option. The rise of DeFi will also play an impressive role in the price of Cardano. The DeFi space is seeing a lot of growth and Cardano, with its layered architecture, is in the perfect position to take advantage of the DeFi space's growth. Cardano's success is also hinged on the number of smart contracts and dApps that the platform can support. With this in mind, we are confident that the team behind Cardano is actively upgrading the platform. Cardano, being the only peer-reviewed blockchain, is more than capable of overcoming any challenges thrown its way. So, yes, Cardano can make you a millionaire. I mean, if you get it right now, there won't be any regrets later. The general crypto market is transitioning to a new phase where the bulls will make a comeback. The Bitcoin having event is also a big thing to anticipate, but only 10,000 Cardano will be enough to reserve a millionaire spot just for you. Do your research and of course, make the best decisions. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you click on the subscribe notification buttons and we'll see you in the next video.